Now we're going to be going over the cast operator. And all it is is just parentheses. Now it enables you to convert one type of variable to another. Now you put the type of variable you want to change the variable to in the cast operators. And the cast operators are those parentheses. So as you see there, we want to change it to an int. So we put int in the parentheses or cast operators. Now down below we have um, a float variable, which is a float. And its uh, value is 42.9. Now we want to convert it to an int. So we declare an integer. So there we have int variable, and then we set int variable. We put um, int in the cast operators, and then we put that right beside the float variable. So now int variable equals the value of float variable, which is 42.9, just in an integer version. Now to try uh, test this out in code we're going to go into Xcode and do just that okay now you can just delete what we previously typed and then type in the following we're going to declare a float and name it float variable so here we have our great float variable and do 56.7 now let's say we want to change the float variable to an integer so we're going to declare an integer variable, name it int variable, very original. And now what we do is we do int variable, and then we set it equal to float variable. But before float variable, we do the little cast operator, and then we do float variable. And then there we have it. Now we're going to do a little NS log just to show you that it worked. I'm going to declare float variable equals percent %f. Then float variable. Now NS log int variable equals percent %i. Close that off. Then int variable and then build and run save all okay as you can see the float variable is 76.7000 all that and then when we convert it to an int variable it drops off all this junk and just becomes 56 so that's all there is to using the cast operator Okay, here we go, the last operator of this lesson, the size of operator. Now, all you do is you put in size of, and then you put in the variable type. And you're saying, well, what does this do? Well, it shows the size of a variable. So if you don't believe me about the size of a variable and you want to test it out for yourself, then this is your way to test it out. You go into... Um, or you're not going to anything you just type in ns log and then you can type in whatever you want but just put like a uh, char or a character equals percent i bytes then quotations comma and then you type in size of then um, in parentheses char and then close out the ns log command and then you can see down below there the integer also so we're gonna go into Xcode and see the size of a few variables like always delete what we previously did and type in the following ns log then we're gonna do an int equals and then percent i or oh, percent i bytes then size of and then it's an int and there we go now ns log a char equals percent i bytes size of char and then 
let's do uh, a float equals size of float and then one last one let's do um, a double percent i bytes size of double and then end it with the semicolon build and run save all And here are the results. An int equals four bytes, a character equals one byte, a float equal four byte test. <laughs> uh, little typo on my part there. And a double equals eight bytes. So there you go. Um, nice little way to find out what all the variables in Objective C equal if you didn't believe me. Now, um, that's it for lesson four of Objective C tutorials. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if these tutorials are helping you out and you're watching all of them. Comment and rate five stars. Thanks for watching.